I have arrived to provide you with your daily dose of Advanced Wars Fix. So sit down, make yourself comfortable, and get ready for part 6 of Advanced Wars Endy's Adventure. We are about to conquer the factory. The enemy has a factory. What do those do again? <laughs> so I take it this turned out to be more difficult than expected. Yes, Nell. Andy managed to reach as far as the old factory. I see. So how did he get that far? Erm, indirect bombers. Battleships and tiny lakes. I beg your pardon? I will take command. I must see this mess for myself. Reactivate the abandoned black hole factory. Oh, there we go. And we can choose between Andy and Black. I love Black, but we've been playing as him for like the three last missions, so I think I'm ready to play Andy now. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Mission 7, unfair map. I love it. No way, the factory has been reactivated? So wait, you didn't actually destroy it after the last war? Well, at least you remember what it's called this time. Yeah, I even remember how to destroy it. Um, uh, you, um, uh, something to do with the pipe or something? Uh, maybe if I think really hard, I can figure it out. Oh hey, we have an airport this time. What's an airport again? Hello? Everyone stop talking to me. <laughs> okay, so we got a factory map here. Oh, that pipe doesn't seem very hard to destroy at all. Okay, cool. We'll just, like, rush the pipe. Are you kidding me? I'm, unless, like, bombers spawn out of these or something? I, I, I don't know how this is gonna be hard at all. Alright, Hachi, what can you tell me? Oh, come now. This is just too easy. Just throw a bomber at the pipe seam. <laughs> okay, well, Hachi seems to have the same idea, apparently. Alright, cool. So we're fighting Nell, though. Ah, uh, yeah. Also, the, the, the units that come out of the factory, by the way, they are... They are ambush bonds, just uh, just so you know. So uh, they can they can run out and they can attack you immediately, and they can be air units. So I wouldn't be surprised if this map pulls some some kind of crap. Like, hmm, wait, can I get this on the one one two? Th I cannot get this. Aw, hmm. What if I do this and then I load the transport copter next turn? That should be cool. I'll build a recon too. I don't know what Nell is gonna get out of the factory. So the units that come out of the factory are predetermined and they usually go on a rotation basis, so... They have like a set amount of units that they produce and then they just like circle around. So I don't know for exactly how long it's going to produce units, but it's like... After 10 turns it just goes back to the first unit it, it produced again, so... For every map it's like a predetermined sequence of units that comes out. Um, I do believe on the Orange Star original mission, Flak does... It does produce some... Like, medium tanks and stuff after a while, but for the first few turns, it just produces trash, pretty much. So, it's nothing that you need to worry about. Alright, well, I'm just gonna go for that recon, I guess. So, I have a nice little choke point here. I can even go and, uh, capture the airport. So, this shouldn't be very hard at all. But let's make sure we get a little bit more income first, shall we? I say probably we are ready for a mech. Yeah, we are ready for a mech. And uh, maybe we... Might actually not be a terrible idea to just save up some income. Maybe get a bomber out or something. Like, there's not that many more buildings we can capture safely here, so... I think it's actually completely safe to just do that. We're actually losing against that recon because Nell is stupid, so... I don't know, hmm. I guess we can just do this... And just maybe not attack? I think we'll actually just not attack. Alright, and once again, I think I'm just going to save my income. Like, how much money am I making right now? I am making 8,000. So I'll 18,000 next turn. Not enough for a... I could maybe get a Bottlecopter out. It might not be such a bad idea. I mean, she has missiles and anti-air, but... Alright, okay. She didn't kill my recon, that's good. I don't think she'd be able to, even with good luck. Uh, Alright, so there's a mech right there. I can destroy her mech with my mech, but I want to make sure that her mech doesn't attack my mech. Uh, I think the AI likes targeting transport copters, so... I guess one thing I could do is just do this. Uh, that might not be such a bad idea. Anyway, uh... Like, is this really that easy? Come on. This is ridiculous. Like, I can get this mech so easily. You know what? I'll just sack the recon. Yeah, I'll just sack the recon and I'll, I'll transport more mechs across the river. 
This is stupid. <laughs> oh, okay. She's keeping the, the Empire back. That's cute. Yeah, a lot of the pipe beams seem destroyed in about three turns. Hell, I can even... Okay, so... Uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah. The Antire... If I destroy the mech, then the Antire can definitely intercept me. Even if I do it from a mountain. But, what I can do, if I'm out of range of the missiles, which I am, is I can occupy that slot with an infantry unit, or, or something of the sort. I think it's definitely a good idea to just get rid of these guys immediately. So what I can do is I can... I mean, I'll sack a transport copter doing this, but... Do I really want to sack a transport copter? I don't know if I would do, actually. Because that transport co... Uh, you know what? Ah, I'm gonna kill the pipe seep anyway. Let's, uh... Because if I don't, then the, the bottle copter dies. So let's just do this. There we go. Why don't we shoot a little bit at it? Yeah, I mean... I guess a tank? Let's see what she does. Oh! Okay. That's very interesting. I thought the AI would always target a transport copter. I guess they view mechs as, like, more valuable? That's very interesting. Huh. I thought I knew the- I wonder if this, uh, this hack does any modifications to the AI, because I was surprised last map, too, when, uh, when a unit suddenly- Okay, you know what? No, I'm not gonna do that. When a unit has suddenly decided to move off the HQ, I've never seen the AI do that before, at least not in the campaign. So that's kind of interesting. Okay, so that missile is sadly, uh, protected. Or sorry, the tank is protected by the missile. There we go, and, uh, well, yeah, unless something fishy happens, I don't see how I don't just win next turn. I guess I'll get a tank. Oh, shit. Ambush rockets. Yeah, this shit can happen. Uh, Alright. That's kind of bullshit, but hey, I got a battlecopter, so that's nice. Jesus Christ, Nell hits so hard. All right, game over? We did it, the factories are out of commission. Wait, why isn't the battle ending? The factory won't stop just because you crushed one teensy little pipe. But that's what we did last time, too weird. Oh well, we'll have to take the HQ instead. A path to it is open now. Of course, of course. Why would I expect that this would be easy? <laughs> okay, that's actually really hilarious. So I think, Sacking a Battlecopter to, uh, reduce this rocket is kind of important. It's- you can also block the, the factory pipes, which is actually not a terrible thing to do. Uh, I guess we can just go and capture, I mean... I'll leave this mech here as, like, sacrificial fodder. So wait, the factory will continue to produce units, or is the map just not ending? Because if the, if the factory continues to produce units, that's pretty nasty. That means I have to really hurry. Oh, wait a minute, why don't I just uh, build a transport copter from this airport instead? I shouldn't have built another one, that was dumb. Uh-oh, that's an anti-air. Hmm. Yeah, there goes my battlecopter. Yeah, okay, so that I guess that answers our question. We are... the factory is still producing units. So, instead, this just has to become a matter of taking the HQ. However, there's no basis up by her HQ. So, unless we get ambushed by factory units... I... don't see how this is a problem? But yeah, I'll definitely block the pipes. I think that's the, the proper thing to do. Uh, I am just gonna die here if I move in, so I'm just gonna pull back. I'd love to get more Battlecopters. Ideally, I'd like a Bomber, but, you know. Alright, let's see what she does. What comes out of the factory? A Recon. Might have been a unit from over there, but I blocked it, so... Yeah, just position three units in front of the infantry, or in front of the, the enemy factory. That's usually how you do it. 
those missiles have been incredibly annoying. Uh-uh. It also works to keep the enemy units in front of the factory, because the, the, the enemy units spawn at the start of their turn. So they can block their own factory, essentially. You can trick them. You can trick them into attacking, like, a weak infantry in front of their, their own factory, and you can kind of, like, make them block themselves, which is kind of cool. Uh, alright, can I... Honestly, this this rocket might be worth keeping around. Ah, never mind, it's dead. Because it's kind of, like, useless, and it will keep standing there shooting with low HP. Alright, so... Again, I think I'll... I won't... I don't want to deploy the, the infantry too close, in case there's, like, a recon popping out here or something. Um... A hyper repair now, honestly, wouldn't have been, like, the worst idea, but... And this superpower is so ridiculously good, and you very rarely don't- you very rarely want to use, um, Hyper Repair when Hyper Upgrade is, is around the corner, because 5 HP, move, movement, and firepower increase- like, people really sleep on Andy's superpower. It is re one of the best powers in the game, by far. Even in Dual Strike, where power creep is very imminent, uh, Hyper Upgrade is still one of the best CO powers. Look how cheap it is. 6 stars, 5 HP global repair, 20% firepower increase, 1 movement for all units, not just vehicles. This power is ridiculous. It far, it more than makes up for Andy not having a day-to-day -day power. Which is a, a minus in Advanced Wars for sure. Alright, I'm just gonna keep sacking, like, units on this factory. I, I don't see why I shouldn't. But yeah, Andy is absolutely ridiculous. Nell is also another CO that people sleep a lot on. Um, she is also, like, stupidly busted. Alright, here he comes. So a mech spawned out of the factory this turn. Not so bad. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Another transport copter falls to the uh, missiles. Oh, that recon might be in range to interrupt me. That could be. Oh, Jesus Christ, that was a good roll. That was a really fucking good roll. Yeah, bye. Wonder how my ranking is gonna be for this one. Okay. Oh, there we go. We, uh, it's not really a good hyper upgrade, but I, I guess there's no point in not utilizing it. Usually you want to engage a little bit, take some damage, and then hyper upgrade, but... Eh, it's also good to use at the start of your turn. The firepower boost and mobility increase is well worth it. Alright. So if we put the transport copter here, we might be able to... Yeah, we're actually blocking this recon. Which is a very good thing. Now, what's scary about attacking Nell with her power-up is that she can suddenly get a super good roll on her, one of her retaliation strikes and just, like, massacre your units. It's very scary to engage her. I was also never able to really confirm this, but it seems like sometimes she takes less damage? I, I don't think this is, like, I've never seen any evidence supporting this, but a couple in my matches against Pantograph, where we have played luck by CEOs, we have noted, especially with Flak, that Flak suddenly, like, greatly seems to reduce the damage he takes on an engagement, and, like, hits back super hard. I don't know what it is, I've, I've seen it only happen a couple times, but I remember very vividly, he he, he ran one of his tanks into into mine, and he played, like, Ponsignor was playing Jess, I was playing Flak, and he attacked my medium tanks with medium tanks of his own, during a power, and everyone knows that Jess tanks on power is, are they're very scary, especially in dual strike. Um... And he attacks me, and I, I take, like, 3 HP damage, and I fire back, and I, like, almost wipe out his tanks, which is really strange. I've never seen something like that occurring before. Anyway, you should spam units, by the way, as you're close to ceasing. It'll help out your technique ranking. Okay. Bye-bye. Not sure if I'm going to get a good technique ranking on this one. I've lost a lot of units. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, so I'm just going to spam, like, uh... Battlecopter... 
It's the number of units that dictate your technique score, so... But killing units also helps a lot. So I'm, I'm just gonna kill, like, as many units as I can this turn. Hell, I can even take out this transport copter. I hate the 95 damage value against transport units, because it's like a, it's a coin flip whether they get destroyed or not. Because in advanced doors, there's a 5% lock modifier similar to Wargroove. And this lock modifier dictates whether a unit dies or not, which is... Basically, if you don't have a firepower or the enemy doesn't have a defense boost, you have a 50% chance of taking down transports with a battle copter. Or if you attack a lander with a sub, that's the same ratio. A coin flip, 50-50. I hate it. Really annoying, because killing a transport is so important, especially in multiplayer battles. Killing a transport that is transporting a unit to go capture something can, like, that can dictate whether or not you win the game or not. And I hate having that decided by a coin flip. Anyway. Did it. Arg, how, why? He keeps winning! Alert the other nations! He's too strong now! And he must be destroyed before he takes over the world! Mission complete. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, why don't we get the factory fanfare? Was this not the final mission of Orange Star? That was a waste of my time. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen. So I don't know what happens now, but we'll find out in the next part, I guess. I'm very much looking forward to seeing Blue Moon and Yellow Comet again. Alright, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back tomorrow with another Advanced Wars episode. Do you want to see Blue Moon or Yellow Comet first? Or do you want me to alternate between the two? Let me know in the comments. Good night. Good good night. It's not good good afternoon. I don't I don't fucking know.